How's her mother there? Oh, Nelly. Oh, don't ask. She's getting worse. Her boiler packed up on Saturday. I had to go around and sort the plumber out. Yeah? You know, she was half cut. Eleven o'clock in the morning, this was. Anyway, she makes me a tuna sandwich for me dinner. I knew it was a mistake. Why? Well, she opens the tin and drains the juice off into the bloody cat bowl. Oh, no. Of course, that sets them off, doesn't it? Bloody hell. She, she's making me sandwich. They're up on the breadboard, five or six of them, like bloody piranhas, hacking away at the tuna while she's trying to spread it on me butty. I said, no, your fingers, Nelly. Use a knife, for goodness sake. You didn't eat it, did you, Eddie? Oh, wish I hadn't, Tommy. Went through me like a Porsche. Mm. Dear me. Mm. Which the plumber I feel sorry for. He was only a young lad. Yeah, he finishes the job. Goes up to the bathroom to check the hot water and she's sat on the bog with the bloomers round her ankles. Mm. Don't mind me, son, she says. Bloody hellfire. <laughs> Hello, Tommy. You all right, son? Can't grumble again. You could have fooled me. Mild, is it? Well, it's supposed to be. See what I mean? <laughs> There's nothing wrong with my beer. I look after it, not like him up at the Oaks. It's good stuff. He should be on prescription at the doctor's, my ale. Well, oh, constipation. <laughs> Don't you encourage him. Uh, Shamrock, if it makes you happy. How's your mum keeping, Ken? Don't ask. She's lost her Maltesers now as well as her marbles. Ooh. Still, we'll be lost without them, won't we? Oh, aye. Mm. My mum will still be dressing me if I let her. It was 420, Joe. Hmm. Hilarious, Ken. <laughs> Rushing through the stars, captivated by the world.